subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to AJ with AJ. Today we have another episode of my podcast with Doll Day 17. And so today we're going to be ranking the American Girl Doll movies on Tear Maker. We're also going to be asking Doll Day 17 a few questions just to get to know her. Um, so, first of all, when did you start your channel? I started it pretty recently, back in late July of 2020. Okay. And what's your favorite video that you've ever posted? Um, I don't think I really have a favorite video. I mean, there are some that, like, took a lot longer and a lot, were a lot harder to make. But, like, stuff like my Halloween special and Christmas specials I'm pretty proud of. Okay, and then last question is, why did you start your channel? I was kind of just bored, and I had some friends that started channels with me, so it was like a little fun thing we did together. That's cool. So I'm going to share my screen, because we're on Zoom right now, um, and <laughs> there is going to be all the American Girl movies. I believe this is... All of them, there might be one or two missing. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna rank them together. So first is the Leah movie. Um, I, so Leah, I really like Leah. Um, it's one of my family's favorites, so I would say it's pretty high up. Okay, so, oh, um, there's Iconic Masterpiece, Good, Average, Forgettable, Who Is She, or After My Time. I would put Good. Okay. I would have to put Good or, like, Average, because her movie is a little bit unrealistic, but then again, it's kind of good. Yeah. Next, we have Melody's movie on Amazon, I think. I've never seen Melody, but I've watched some of the music videos, and they're a little weird. Yeah, the American Girl Doll music videos are kind of weird. I actually watched the movie, and I would have to say it's pretty good. I really like it. Cool, I'll have to watch that one. Yeah, next we have the Chris is Stand Strong. I believe this is the first girl of the year, maybe. Oh, yeah. Um, I think... The only time I've watched Krissa was with um, Ali Katlovezi and Ace Jitter's collab where they reacted to it, and I thought it was pretty cool when they watched that. Yeah. I would say it's average. Yeah. I mean, much. it's good, but mm. next we have Isabel. I feel like everyone like says that Isabel is such like, an awful doll, but I don't agree with that very much. So... I think her story, like bullying, is something American Girl does a lot, but it's still important. So I don't know. What do you think? Um, I don't know, cause even when we were at American Girl just this weekend, I was like, mm, I don't want Kira. She's so basic. I have other dolls like her, and then I realized yeah. I only have one doll with blonde hair, and I was just like, wait, no, that's just kind of like people always just think yeah, they're like, basic, but they're not. And then, like, I have Lainey, too, so I think they're really similar. Um, Overall, I think her movie is pretty good. Yeah, too. I've never actually seen the Samantha movie. I did watch it, and it's like, I don't know, it was when I was literally, like, six years old, and it was like, I rented it from the library, I felt so cool. (laughs) But it was pretty good, it was, um, have you ever read her books? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't know why, but I haven't, like, done anything Samantha besides seeing her in a stop motion. Mm. Her story is pretty much just, like, be kind to others. It's about, like, she helps an orphan girl out. I don't know. It's kind of, like, old school-ish. The production isn't that great. So, I would give it average because it has a good storyline. Okay. And I'm going to stop right here, and this is going to be part one, and we're going to make a part two in just a second because I don't want this video to be too long. Okay. Bye.